These are the boots I bought for Mir. There's actually four of them. I'm just showing them. Just showing you to them because they're absolute crap, aren't they, Mir? No good at all for your bad paws. Oh dear. Uh, I'm supposed to wash her paws, but I bought some special shampoo, but uh, I ain't got no water. I mean, frozen. Ah, well, what can you do? I'll do my best for her. She's not in pain or anything, except when she walks. Except when she walks. But she doesn't really walk very far these days. We go out, we go out for a ride in the van, that's what we do. And uh, she's got, got all around here, she can wonder if she wants to do her business. And she still got, got a very good appetite. So what do you do? Today, well, for an hour or so, I've been, uh, started to do the hedge laying haven't got very far but uh, I decided just do this little section here down to that tree field maple I believe that is and uh, what I've got to do is I've got to thin, thin out all the branches just leave leave or about I'll leave probably about a dozen in there and then you slash them with your bill hook and uh, bend them over and then sort of weave them in and these bits I cut off I poke them down into the hedge and uh, then I weave weave other bits around so it got a nice a nice shape you can see where my son George did it seven years ago that was every seven years I reckon you should do it but and it's quite a nice job to do. It's just that this is uh, quite high now. <laughs> but I'll get there. Son-in-law Lee's working now. George is working. It's all, all back on my... on my watch. I put some mints on the bird table. They haven't touched it. And uh, I've cut a load of logs. I'll show you what I've been doing over here. Just keep you up to date with what's happening. Look at the state of this place, look. It's supposed to be just for the wood and everything. and It's become a storage area. It always happens, doesn't it? Do you know, if you put a shelf up, you'll fill that shelf. And the next thing you know, you have to put another shelf up. Managed to get the chainsaw going today. It's going fine, fine, fine. And then suddenly, pew, stopped. It had blown a plug. The plug had blown out. And I put it back in, you know, being a master engineer. And uh, it worked again. So I've been cutting up all these, lo whether, these logs. Whether they will burn is another matter. I can't remember how old they are. But... Uh, I'll probably get a visit, visit from the government saying, oh, we hear you've been burning logs that haven't dried out properly. Uh, but yeah, I actually enjoyed that. It hurt my back a bit, but I'm not as young as I was. And I've got all this crap here to cut up. But you know, it's a lovely day apart from the cold. And uh, I'll get there in the end. Ah. Oh got the the road king it's got to go for its MOT but I've been driving the roads it's full of black ice well I mean it might not be black ice but it looks like black ice and I'm very wary of it uh, we had a crash once my brother Vic my late brother Vic and my mum were in the car Vic was driving it was up in Inverness and uh, we just rounded a bend the next thing we were sliding and there was a bridge and we just hit the bridge he was a little bit hurt I think he broke his nose or something like that mum had a scratch on her knee 
and uh, I was all right, I think. Yeah, and the whole thing happened in slow motion. Have you ever been in a crash? You see it happening and there's nothing you can do about it. Well, I wasn't driving, so I couldn't. I just had to watch. Yeah. How do we get onto that? Oh, yeah, and they went to hospital. Ragmore Hospital up near Inverness. And then, uh, I don't know, I can't remember how we got home, but we were about... Well, Inverness was about 100 miles from where we lived. <coughs> well, Vic didn't live there. He was in the army at that time. I tried to join the army once when I was in the Merchant Navy. I thought, oh, I think I'll try the army. You know, being institutionalised and that. I thought that would be great for me. They wouldn't fucking have me. <laughs> they wouldn't even have me in the infantry. I tried to join the King's um, troop. What was it called? I can't remember. The horse, the horse. Ah. It's not Alzheimer's, it's just age. Uh, Royal Horse Artillery, I tried to join. I thought that would do me. And uh, I did, I passed all the tests. Then I had to go and see this Colonel bloke. Very nice bloke. He said, you, we can't have you. He said, you, I've got, I had a criminal record by then, as long as it's your arm actually. <laughs> Not for anything serious, just for bloody being an arsehole and fighting and that, getting drunk. And uh, yeah, they wouldn't have me. He says, get yourself calmed down, come back in a couple of years. Of course, I never went back. Sometimes wish I did. My brother Vic was in the army. I think I said that just now, didn't I? Yeah, he was in the Royal Army Ordnance Corps. The uniform, which they were allowed to wear out in those days, not wear out, but when they were out and about in public, they were allowed to wear their uniforms. And uh, yeah, the Royal Army Ordnance Corps, it's a fantastic uniform. Look it up, Google it. And this was in the 1960s, whether it's changed, I don't know. But um, yeah, Royal Army Ordnance Corps he was in and uh, his actual job was, he worked in the mess, was barman in the officer's mess. Yeah, I think he liked it. Although eventually he did uh, go AWOL, absent without leave. Don't think they ever found him. Well, I'm sure they didn't find him because, you know, he was he was a free man when he died. Yeah, and he used to pick up the girls. He was only, he was shorter than me actually, about five foot five. He looked re resplendent in his uniform. He used to pick up girls and, oh, what, 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 what army unit are you in? He used to say, it's the RAOC. What does that stand for? Royal Army Overseas Commandos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was a lad, oh, Vic. His pickup line with girls at Eden Park, he used to he used to go if you see a pretty girl walking a dog, he'd go up and say, That's a nice dog. Can I have its phone number? It's amazing how, how well he used to do. But he was quite a character. Oh, I miss him really. Ah <sighs> Anyway, how long have I been rabbiting on? I've got to get some of these logs down to Trisha's house. That's gonna be fun, isn't it? See these, see that, it's holly, but I think we only cut that last year when we were building the shed in the garden. So that ain't going to burn. If, if it burns at all, I don't even know the burning qualities of it. Any rolled up. There's kids over the backfield. Um, yeah, so... about all that's happening at the minute. I've got to go in now. I bought a steak today. I'm gonna to have a steak, chips and peas. And then she, oh, she can hear someone over there. Still a guard dog, aren't you, Mia? Yes, you're a good guard dog, aren't you? And there goes the sun going down. It's not going down that way, but uh, over there, excuse my washing, you get sometimes through that gap you can see a quite a spectacular 
sunset. It's going to be a nice day tomorrow by the look of things. Anyway, I think I'll just tidy up the rest of this scrub that I've been cutting down. Tidy as you go. And uh, go and light my own fire. I'll just show you all this down here. In case you think nothing's been happening around the paddock lately. There's all this. I didn't do all that. Lee did cut most of this down. There's an apple tree and a, a cherry tree. Just we didn't cut the tree down, we just trimmed the trimmed the branches. What I'm gotta do with that now is cut it into uh, about three foot lengths or two foot lengths make it into faggots and uh, that's a faggot is a, a bundle of twigs all tied up together allowed to dry and it's very good in Trisha's fire especially because she's got a great big open fire and uh, we always like to throw a faggot on the fire <laughs> stop it you'll get cancelled um, yeah. Still got frost on the ground here, and the uh, the pond is frozen. I'm not going to skate on it though. Right, nice to see you. Thought I'd just you know pop in, say hello, take care of yourself, keep warm. See you later. Bye-bye.